so if you've been wanting to get into photography but you never knew where to start or what camera gear to buy here is the video for you whether it's digital or film photography i've got you covered in this video and yeah my name is toby and i'm a professional photographer slash videographer and yeah in today's video i'm going to be talking about camera gear for beginner creatives so you can get started taking some hard pictures you get me so yeah without further ado let's get right into it right so the camera that you're gonna buy this is the first camera i'm recommending no bullshit this is the, my go-to primary camera i'm recommending for beginner creatives it is the canon 600d so this camera is sick so basically this camera i've had this camera for a good while now i got this camera back when i was um finishing secondary school or like high school depending on where you're watching this video what you call it but yeah now nah, this camera has this camera has been doing me good basically it is a canon 600d and normally when i'm using it i pair it with the i don't know if you can see this in the camera i pair it with the 50 mil um canon lens but yeah so I'll, I'll focus on what we're talking about so basically the reason why i really like this camera is if you actually look this camera up a lot of people think of this camera as a beginner photography camera but that's cap if you ask me this camera is professional if you know what you're doing because that's another thing about photography that you start to realize it's not necessarily about the camera or the camera body i should say it's more so about you as the photographer and how you use the equipment that you have when i first started with this camera you know you see people that have all these fancy equipment and i'm not even gonna lie to you yeah the better equipment you have the better photos you're gonna get that's the way it be but for somebody that's just get started as a beginner creative 100 percent i'm recommending the canon 600d so let me touch over some points and some little issues that sometimes you might have with this camera but it's not really anything major so basically yeah so i use this camera a lot when i'm doing a lot of fashion work and fashion photography or portraits for people outside so where this camera really excels is when you are using it outdoors so if you are just using natural lighting and you're outside wherever it is and you're shooting with this camera and it's really good at shooting people you can shoot other stuff as well like events and stuff but specifically when you're shooting people this camera really comes in clutch for portraits and stuff like that if you pair it with a 50 millimeter lens so the only issue that i'd be having with the canon 600d and that i think you could have with the canon 600d is the fact that when you're taking the pictures you kind of have to so if you can see right here this is the shutter button when you want to take when you want to take a picture so you sometimes you have to half press the shutter button till you get the focus correct on their face so to explain that again in a simpler way when you're about to click the picture of the person you kind of half press the shutter button and on this screen i'm just going to turn on the camera so you can see what i'm talking about so if i so if i had this um give me a second so if i had this screen you can kind of see i don't know if it's, it's probably going to show for you so you can kind of see that um you have this square that square you're gonna half press until you focus obviously because i'm recording the video it's not gonna not gonna be able to do it right but that's the only thing i'll tell you is that whenever you're taking the picture of the person before you click it because the focus sometimes has issues with the camera body but it's not really anything major you just hold it sometimes and then you click it and then once you do that you're getting it perfect and you're getting your shot and it's gonna come out good and yeah so the reason i even really like this camera is the fact that it get, whenever i'm editing my photos that i took with this camera i'm able to like emulate this film type of look that you can get i'll try and put some pictures of some shoots i've done on the video somewhere here so you can be able to see what i'm talking about but yeah i really like this camera and if you're looking for a camera forget all the other cameras that are super expensive there's only other one i'd recommend but i might make another video on that but yeah canon 600d is the camera i'm recommending you to get that's the camera that is going to do you well that's the camera that's going to do you nice and yeah if you're looking for a specific lens to use with a canon 600d you can get the 50 millimeter lens but i'll make another video separate for that if you're looking where you can buy this camera you can buy this camera on um second hand places second hand marketplace i actually got this camera that you're seeing right now for 250 euros I got it on a second-hand marketplace that's called Dundee. If you're living in Ireland watching this video, 
get it on Dundeo or adverts adverts or Dundeo that's where you get the cameras you don't want to be paying full price for a brand new camera because I'm telling you you don't even need to be doing that like you get this on a secondhand marketplace and sometimes they can even ship it to your house so basically you see the camera ad on the on the website that you like or if you download on your phone you see the one you like and basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna reach out to them and then obviously go back and forth with them try and get them to ship it to you maybe like you might pay an extra 10 euros 15 euros but that's so convenient you know they're bringing that shit right to your house so yeah now you got your camera and so yeah that's the main camera that I'm gonna be recommending so if you're watching this video and you don't know what camera to get go and get the Canon 600D that's my recommendation to you and then as you get even more advanced and you have more money then you can keep upgrading and yeah as my as my journey and i'm getting new cameras i'll make videos so you can see the cameras i'm currently using so just a couple more tips with this camera before we move on this camera is also capable of recording video but the only issue that i'll be having sometimes with the video on this camera is that it can get a bit blurry now and then but that's not really an issue if so let's say you want to record in video if you want to record a video you want to be using so i don't know if i can show you here you want to be using manual focus because with manual focus you can move this ring and you can basically set it until you get the face focused and then obviously you can keep the camera still and you can do your video recording that way because sometimes i find when you put it in auto focus and you try to record the video it can be kind of a bit like um yeah kind of kind of mess up your video a little bit sometimes but other than that yeah the camera is capable of shooting video as well for the price you get it this camera you can get it for roughly around 200 250 maybe yeah around that price to in the 200 to 300 euros range but 200 you should be able to still get it. i got mine for 250 and then obviously i got the lenses separately but you should be able to get the body for the camera for at least like 250 and so yeah that's the other thing that i just wanted to touch up and even if you scroll on youtube yeah you're really gonna probably find videos talking about camera 600d I don't know it's just to me it's just a gem that's hidden and no one's really like talking about it so blessing you with this info right now and so yeah make sure you cop this one right so the second camera that i have up for you this is the second digital dslr camera option if you don't maybe for whatever reason you're unable to get the canon 600d the other camera, this is the camera I just actually, this is the camera I actually upgraded from after I got my first camera, which was that one I was previously talking about. This is the Canon 800D. The Canon 800D, this camera is really good. It's an upgrade basically. And the reason I really like this camera, the actual reason I properly upgraded was because of the fact that it can shoot much better quality video. You can shoot you can shoot really good video on this camera and i don't have to worry about the whole um autofocus thing i was talking about with the other camera so yeah i shoot sometimes a lot of video with this but i'm gonna make separate videos specifically talking about the video elements i want to focus on the photo photography aspect on this video so yeah this camera is good for photography i'll be real though i haven't used it too often i still primarily use my canon 600d because i'm still getting used to this one and i just find that like maybe it's just because i'm used to that already I, I still have to learn how to use this but the quality image that you get is way higher on this on this camera so yeah if you want to get a beginner camera i also recommend this camera the 800d and then you just have to practice and another tip i forgot to mention in regards to taking pictures with that is whenever you're taking pictures the better way to get good pictures is to use the viewfinder so if you shoot through the viewfinder the viewfinder is just this little thing here so you see this little box thing when you're shooting through that it's just when you click the pictures it just comes out much better that's all you really need to know and yeah so the canon 800d other things about it is it also has this very like beginner friendly like um screen so if you can see this right now it basically if you don't know what all the different photography words like shutter speed like aperture you don't know what any of that means it can basically tell you that like for example like the higher you bring your shutter speed the more still your image is going to be and the lower you bring it the more blurry like effect you're going to get just so you kind of have an idea of what you're doing and um yeah so those those are the two cameras mainly i don't want to make this video too long it's probably long as it is already but i don't know 
But yeah, so the Canon 600D, that's the one I primarily use for fashion, commercial work like that. And then 800D as well is very good if you pair with a 50 millimeter lens like I use for that one. So yeah, let's, let's, let's move on. We go. Right, so to end this video, this is the last camera for film. So we talked about digital photography like DSLR photography entry level when you want to get started now I'm just gonna talk about I'm gonna briefly touch on film this is another area I've been trying to dip my toes in and learn about this is the camera I bought this is the beginner camera that this is not really a beginner camera even this is like professional quality this is um the Rico RZ S is M735 so I can't lie the number the number is a bit long yeah but I allow it so this is the RZ735 and this is the camera, this camera is Surrey. I definitely recommend this camera. Um, yeah, so it is a 35 to 70 millimeter super macro lens camera. So 35 millimeter, all that really means is it's really good for portraits. And yeah, so if I turn this on, you can see it kind of has this like little sound that makes when it turns on. And when you turn it off as well, and yeah, so basically the way the film cameras work is you kind of have um you have a battery at the side here. So I don't know if this is even on the screen. So you have a battery here, and when you have your battery, this is where you put your film in. You just kind of I don't want to eject it right now because I actually have film in there. But normally there's a little button in here, you just flick it out, and then you can take your film roll out that way. And um yeah, what else is there that I need to say? Um, yeah, so if you see up here, this is basically the this tells you how much film you have left. So the, when you're shooting on film, when you're shooting on film, you have a number of rolls. So you have like 35, 36 rolls, something like that. And so yeah, every shot basically counts. So you you can see through the viewfinder, like I was talking about, you shoot through your viewfinder, take your shot. Once you've used up all your rolls, you just take it to a film shop and then you kind of get your film developed there. Maybe 10 euros, 15 euros. I'm saying euros because I'm living in Europe. And so yeah, you get that done. But the film, I brought the film that I shoot with here so I could just show you in this video. This film that I shoot with, well this is just the one I was practicing with, is the Superia. Superia, I don't know, I might be butchering that properly. Like, but it's the Fujifilm Superia um, Extra 400. So yeah, so I shoot, this one has 36. This one, as you can see here, this one has 36 um, 36 um, rolls and I shoot with that. And when you're done with all your shooting, I just had this little case that I put it in. And I actually, I actually keep my film, here's a quick tip, you can keep your film in the fridge. When you keep your film in the fridge, yeah, it just, it, it makes it last longer and it doesn't expire. Something like that I've been hearing. So your film doesn't go bad if you leave it for too long without developing it. And then obviously once you have it like this, just take it to the film shop, give it to them. They will develop your film, send it all by email to you. And then you can obviously download it onto your phone. You can post it on Instagram, whatever you want to do with it. So yeah, if terms of, um, let's go through that again. In terms of photography, the main camera I'm recommending is the 600D. And I'm also saying that you can also get 800D. If for whatever reason you cannot get this one, you should also get the 800D. So the way I, the reason I have this combo workout is basically I have the 600D primarily for fashion shoots and I'm learning how to use this one. But in the meantime, I use this one for videography work and I kind of um, basically, yeah, just use it for the kind of colors that you get from it. But the one I'm shooting on right now is a Sony. But like I said, I'll talk about that in another video. And if you want me to go more into detail on anything, let me know in the comments so I know if I'm, if I'm where I need to talk more about to help you guys out, if you get me. And um, yeah, so that's the digital side. And in terms of film, I recommend the, um, what did I call this again? The Rico, the Rico RZ735. The name is a bit of a tongue twister, but yeah, it's like a Japanese film camera. And the really good thing about these film cameras is you can get them super cheaply. So this camera, I got this camera probably like, I think I got it for around like maybe 80 euros, 90 euros on, on some secondhand place. You can go on Dundee, Adverts, eBay, whatever you want to check. You can use eBay as well. eBay is pretty good as well, but I got mine on Dundee. I believe this was, 
and yeah you can find really good steel cameras so one key point you need to know about film cameras is don't worry too much about getting expensive film cameras the key is most film cameras take really good pictures so if you get a really cheap film camera and you start practicing with that and you put in different film rolls you can get really quality shots out of it and then the real key thing is just to keep practicing and so yeah this video is probably too long so i'm gonna end it there and so yeah that is the beginner's creative guide for camera gear and if you really like this video you know drop a like and subscribe and comment down below any questions anything you have or what you thought of the video how i can make it better for you in the future videos and yeah that is everything that i have to say for this first video in this series go follow me on instagram at team money euro i'll put a little um i'll put a little i'll put it in the screen right here team money euro on instagram and yeah if you if you're looking to do photography if you're looking for portraits work or stuff like that you can reach out to me on my instagram that's everything and i'll see you guys in the next video peace